hello friends welcome to all basic friends today we will know about later vedic society the later vedic society large kingdoms in the later vedic society the expansion of aryan settlement resulted in the growth of big kingdoms the later struggled with one another for political supremacy the ideal of imperial sovereignty became popular the powerful kings of the later vedic age assumed such title as ekrat samrat etc to show the extent extent of their power the paramount rulers performed horse sacrifices and accorded formal importance to their power the horse sacrifices are referred to in the satapati brahmana divine rights of the kings the growth of royal power led to the theory of the divine divine rights of the kings being strongly publicized it was said that brahma the lord of the subjects prajapati and indra the king of gods devraja had created kingship brahmins declared that through coronation the king had come to possess divine powers in the later vedic age the brahmins or the priests were next to the kings possessors of divine powers the kings and the priests claimed divine powers and thus regarded them themselves as distinguished from common men in this age the kingship was hereditary of course cases of elective monarchy were still in vogue in some places instances of such elective monarchy are referred to in the atreya brahmanins officials and administration with the growth of royal powers reference to newly appointed high officials of the state are found purohit senani and gramani of the early vedic age society were regarded as important officials in the later vedic age also legally the king's powers were absolute nevertheless it was his duty to establish even justice and to provide measures for protection of his subjects during coronation the king was the king committed to protecting the brahmins and the cows regarded as property and to doing works of public utility in the later vedic society the powers of the samiti had greatly greatly decreased expansion of the territory explained that decrease but there was a comparative increase of the powers of the sabha the king deemed it was to seek advice of the sabha for conduct of his rule otherwise the sabha could have put him into trouble but the sabha was not as good as a democratic institution as samiti in this age the sabha was composed of royal ministers and high officials of the kingdom in the age of later vedic society there was the beginning of royal despotism and imperialism ensured it ethical consciousness an idea of ethical consciousness of society in the later vedic age can be formed from the vedic literature homicide theft of property and cow also regarded as property drinking intoxicating liquors sedition were treated as condemnable and therefore punishable offenses women were not entitled to inheritance the king ruled according to the prevalent customs of the land the status of women in later vedic period the status of women become lower in later vedic society than it had been before they were denied of the right to inheritance nor could they enjoy political rights of course the door of education was kept open to them among the women of the later vedic age the names of gargi and maitreya deserves mention
ग्रह सूत्र एंड धर्म सूत्र सोशल बॉन्ड्स वर स्ट्रेंथ रेगुलेशन एंड रिस्ट्रिक्शन वर प्रिस्क्राइब अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ग्रह सूत्र एंड धर्म सूत्र इन द ग्रह सूत्र इंस्ट्रक्शन एज रिगार्ड द डोमेस्टिक एंड टेम्पोर लाइफ ऑफ द हिंदू आर फुल्ली डिस्क्राइब इट कंटेन्स कैटेगोरिकल रिफरेंस टू ईच स्टेज ए मैन हैज टू पास थ्रू एंड द ओब्लिकेशन ही हैज टू डिस्चार्ज फ्रॉम हिज क्रेडल टू डेथ लेटर वैदिक कास्ट सिस्टम द मोस्ट नोटिसेबल फीचर ऑफ द सोशल लाइफ ऑफ द लेटर वैदिक एज सोसाइटी इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कास्ट सिस्टम एंड द कॉन्सिक्वेंट इंटेंसिफिकेशन ऑफ इट्स रिग्रेसनेस even during the rig vedic society the caste system and the society was divided into four classes brahmins kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras in the later vedic period class discrimination became rigid and rooted to birth society became clearly and identifiable divided into four classes The Brahmins were engaged in the pursuit of Vedic literature, scriptures, worship, and rituals. The Kshatriyas undertook to discharge political and military military obligation, and their profession was as much hereditary as that of Brahmins. The commoners in the Aryan society were known as Vaishyas, with agriculture, trade, and business being their profession. The condition of the Shudra was miserable. They constituted the lowest class of society. Literature. Both common and religious instructions were in practice during the later Vedic age society. Apart from the Vedas and the Upanishads, grammar, logic, and law had a fair cultivation. Science of medicine and astronomy made some progress in this age. Today's question: Upanishads. The word Upanishad means to sit down near, bringing to mind pupils gathering around their teacher for philosophical instructions. The Upanishads are philosophical works that introduce the now central ideas of self-realization, yoga, meditation, karma, and reincarnation. The theme of the Upanishads is the escape from rebirth through knowledge of the underlying reality of the universe. Today's word: ethical. The discipline dealing with what is good and bad, and with moral duty and obligation. A set of moral principles, a theory or system of moral values. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.